Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the YouTube analytics reports and I'm going to show you uh, how you can create a query that returns a bunch of dimensions about a channel. So say you wanted to find out, you know, to, to create a spreadsheet that, uh, you know, show the number of views on on every date between now and uh you know three months ago right this is this is going to do that this is going to get you your uh your report so it really starts out with this here is uh this result constant result equals and then you have the youtube analytics and in order to to get the ability to to uh, access these methods you have to go into services and you have to authorize the YouTube analytics service. And once you do that, it's going to show up here. Right. So you have to do that first. And then uh, after that, you do YouTube analytics dot reports dot query. And then this is the format of the query that it's going to accept. So it's going to require um, at least one ID. In this case, it's the channel and the, the channel ID uh, is obtained in a uh, in, in this above function here, but you could just put in your channel ID, you know, as a string, something like this. Okay. It's going to take the start date. Okay, and in this case, the start date is a uh, is this here. today. Today equals, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. The start date is last month, whereas this is today minus what I've said is one month in milliseconds. And this is the formula to get a full month in milliseconds. And say you wanted to go back, you know, uh, 10 months or something like that. You would just add another set 10 in there. Now, now, now that's going to return 10 months of, uh, of, of analytics. And so, and then last month is is today minus one month, and today is just today, and this is going to return a value in milliseconds. That gets passed into start date, that gets passed into end date, and then it requires metrics, and metrics is a neatly put together constant uh, that we then join based on these commas uh, so that it's a little more, uh, it's just in the format that, that YouTube requires, and you can... You can remove and add things from here. Uh, you can change, change the way they are. Uh, um, what you call? Oh, uh, uh, lined up. You know the order. You can sort by the dimension. You can sort by the day. So let's go back, and we're going to get ten months of analytics, and we're going to output a spreadsheet here. We click run. Whoops. Let's look here. There's an error. Could not parse content. Estimated views. Estimated minute. Yeah. So actually, this was not. This one doesn't make sense. Oh wait, no, it does. It does. That one does. I clicked the wrong one. That one doesn't. Now we run it. Perhaps it's that one. Then. So it doesn't it doesn't like certain metrics depending on the type of report you're running, and then it says, "Okay, we created your new document. It's here, and there you have it. There's your YouTube analytics report, and from there you can, you know, create whatever functions you want. It shows over time how many views you're getting, things like that." And I'll put a link to the Google Doc. Or the uh, the Google page that has all of this all of this code uh, in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great have a great day.